Well, the team formerly known as the San Diego Chargers made things interesting last night in Denver, but in the end, you can change cities. You, sometimes you just can't change the outcome. Karma is what it is. Young Ways Coos second attempt at forcing overtime blocked by Shelby Harris. How timely to have this guy, one of the best kickers to ever play the game, in, the, uh, in our studios to talk about that and other things. JC, not to embarrass you, but you know, when, whenever you come in, we look up the numbers. Take a look at these numbers. Fifth all-time leading scorer, uh, 23 seasons, man, longevity, success, you've done it all, congratulations on a great career. So now that we've established your credentials, uh, let's discuss what happened last night. Uh, as a kicker, are you expecting to get iced? Uh, that's definitely a possibility, uh, but regardless, you gotta go through the kick, and you know, his first kick was a fantastic kick, and his second kick looked like it came off his foot really well and just unfortunate that the protection broke down. For those who weren't watching our Facebook Live conversation, which happened right before this, you brought up a thing I never heard about. You don't want to take that practice kick because the K ball, that might be the best of the kicking balls and you might be losing the best ball to kick with. That's Explain. right, that's right. Well, if, There are if, six K balls. <laughs> correct, and uh, the first four are broken in by the equipment managers prior to the game. Those are your best balls, and so, ball one, two, three, and four, and so, and ball one and two will be the best. So uh, if you hear the whistle early enough, you'll see some veteran kickers not kick that ball because they don't want that to go downfield and get the second ball in, which may not be a good one. As a kicker, are you aware of which balls are in play and which aren't? We have a good idea. And, uh, and you know, the punters and kickers talk early in the game, like how was the first ball that you got, whether the, the first was a, a kickoff or a punt. So we'll discuss that and we'll, we'll keep an eye on what balls are going in and which one's the best so one. So what's to keep an opposing equipment guy from when you have to kick the game winning ball to bring out the hardest, the rock, and give you ball six? Well, that used to happen. But now the, uh, the K-ball guys that are in charge are truly officials, and so uh, they're under the officials' uh, watch. But yes. prior, prior to that, it was a volunteer, and they would do that all the time. Well, anyhow, this is uh, Lynn and Ku after the game. Take a listen. Well, you made the first one. We got some pressure over the left guard, and they tipped the second one. They did a hell of a job with their field goal rush. Of course, I mean, as a kicker, that's your, you know, you dream about those moments. So, but same time, you got to come through. Well, today, you know, the whole day, my mentality was, you know, just uh, take take advantage of this opportunity. It's a great opportunity for me, and uh, that was my mentality. So, a block kick is different than a missed kick. I, does this even linger with the young man? Uh, it shouldn't. You know, he, he did everything he could do, um, and he put a good strike on the ball. So, uh, he's just got to move forward. He hit uh, every every kick during the course of the game. Kickoffs and extra points all look good. So just got to move forward. And before we get to the main event, for the reason why you're here, let's just quickly both the, the teams you're most associated with, both the Saints and and Bolts, were playing on Monday night. Do you still watch those games with passion, or are you? I do. I, I care about both organizations, and uh, disappointed that they're both started the season 0 and 1. But there's a lot of football left, and uh, and they'll get their W's. All right, so the real reason you're here is your second CTF, Kearney Training Facility Combine, is about to take place Saturday, uh, 9 to 11. Sunday. Excuse me, Sunday. Sunday. All right, so then, I have it right, September 17th. Okay, all right. Okay. Um, <laughs> Sunday, 9 to 11. Uh, tell folks what, it, what it's all about. Well, it's a lot of fun. It's a competition. You can win prizes, win money. Uh, it's open to men and women. It's going to challenge your strength, your agility, and your endurance. Uh, and... It's going to be a lot of fun. You're doing push-ups, you're doing pull-ups, you're doing uh, broad jumps and vertical jumps. Uh, uh, you're doing a shuttle run. You're doing, as it just was there, uh, planks. So a lot of fun, and you can have side bets with your friends, or you may just win the pot. Did you pick the disciplines, or did someone else? I did. So because these Obviously, you feel these are the best tests. I do, because the big guys will do well in the strength, but may not do well in the endurance and agility, and vice versa with the smaller. So And same with the women. So uh, it, it really tests the entire athlete, um, and we say ignite your inner athlete. Very cool. Ultimately, is it a test of strength for your kind of your strength to weight ratio? Uh, it is. Uh, for instance, if, if you're benching, Paul, then you're going to bench your body weight, and to get maximum points, you'll have to do it 15 times. So 
uh, you want to make sure that you're not overweight, Paul. You mean 165 pounds? <laughs> uh, let's take a look. Here's a, uh, we have some video of the website. So again, how do people, uh, can they walk up and enroll or do you have they to They can get walk up and enroll uh, Sunday morning. They can go to CarneyTrainingFacility.com and register early. And all the point scoring is on there, so they know exactly what they need to do. And basically, this is also a way to, for people to get to know the facility, right? It is. We're in Carlsbad. We're kind of tucked away, so it's a way for them to find it and have a lot of fun on a Sunday morning. I, I, you don't compete? I don't compete. Uh, I can't win my own competition. And oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I probably wouldn't anyways. <laughs> we have some... Some real go-getters out there, so. And there's prize money for and bragging. Prize bra money. Bragging rights more than prize bragging money. rights. Bragging uh, rights, 150 bucks for the winner, uh, oh. male and female uh, skins, compression gear. That's some more prizes there. Uh, Weatherford Fit, Steve Weatherford, Mr. Fitness, who I got to play with in New Orleans and played 10 years in the NFL, won a Super Bowl with the Giants. Steve will be making guest appearance uh, Sunday morning, and then he turns around Monday. And we'll be doing a photo shoot for the cover of Muscle and Fitness. Very cool. Hey, you grew up in West Palm Beach, right? I did. So do you have f family or anybody that's sort of... A lot of friends back there. I checked with them. Fortunately, uh, the east coast of Florida wasn't hit that badly. Uh, the west coast was. So uh, I bring it up because you were in New Orleans when Katrina hit, right? So you, yes. you, you, you've witnessed firsthand the devastation. Yes, absolutely. And uh, it, it's tough. We, we you know, watch the news. It, uh it's tough, and our prayers go out to the people in Florida and, and Texas as well. You were, in, you ended up get. This is Katrina. Then you were on. You ended up on the cover of Sports Illustrated when you first came back, right? Uh, yes. You still so, have that anywhere in your house? Uh, it is floating around. Uh, that was our first regular season game against the Carolina Panthers uh, in Carolina, and and they were chosen to win the division that year, and we we snuck away with a win and a field goal, and then. Uh, we were displaced to San Antonio for the season, and that thing went south really fast. Yeah, where you had to play at three different home. I mean, with the Superdome was yeah, yeah. It was not a good plan. All right, well, uh, so just talk, let's talk a little kicking while we can. True or false? Is kicking more mental than it is physical? It's a lot mental. Uh, there's our good friend Blair Walsh, and one of the still one of the great young talents uh, in kicking, and he's doing a great job with with the Seattle Seahawks right now, but uh, it's a lot mental, especially in those situations. Uh, some guys overthink that, that kick, and if they're focused on their mechanics in a situation like that, good things will happen. So like, you know, Blair was, for a while, the best kicker in the game, then, then the loss of the job in Minnesota. What is it? Is it a loss of mechanics, or is it a loss of confidence, or both, that some kickers are up one year, down the next? Well, the, the equation's long. It can be uh, bad equipment changes. It can be a new snapper, a new holder, a new special teams coach who's asking you to do things, kick quick, more quickly, or the practice schedule is not, not uh, timing up with with your, your style of preparation. So it can be a number of things, uh, but the good ones find a way to adjust and adapt and continue forward with some success. Who's a kicker on your fantasy team? If I had a fantasy team, it would probably be Dan Bailey. I just, you know, that they have a lot of offense there. He's indoors half the season. And he's just very, very accurate, very consistent. All right, we have about 30 seconds left. We're gonna bring the graphic up one more time. Uh, get some people to come up Sunday, the 17th. Look at that graphic. Tell them why they should come. There you go. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Challenge yourself. Ignite your inner athlete. Show up 9 o'clock. 6102 Avenida Encinas in Carlsbad, right behind the YMCA Gymnastics. Is it, is it true that on, kickers always use a shoe that's two sizes too small for the Absolutely. Kicking? Why is that? Well, you want a tight-fitting shoe so you can get underneath the ball and through the grass without a lot of drag.